everyone, Dr. here. I hope your study is going well. So today we're going to kind of transition into the um, chemistry and the physics section of teas. Uh, and today we're going to look at physical properties and changes of matter. So we're going to go over some of the updates and changes in TEAS 7. Um, as usual, this is a comparison between TEAS 6 and TEAS 7. I have a note here. This lesson is based on two chapters in TEAS 6. There is some kind of reorganization in TEAS 7. So the two chapters are chapter 50, explain characteristics and properties of substances, and 51, compare and contrast changes in states of matter. So this is based on the content from those two chapters. Um, you can see the only thing that's new is first describe the relationship between mass, volume, and density. So you need to know the equation between the three properties and uh, do some very simple calculations. It's not bad at all. The second is newish. Describe the state of matter in terms of molecular motion. So this is actually mentioned in TS six, but it's just uh, it's a new objective in TS seven. So now let's look at the relationship between mass, volume, and density. This is the definition for the three terms, and the relationship is actually pretty straightforward. So the density is the ratio of mass to volume. Essentially, this is the relationship. Density equals mass divided by volume, right? So that's how much of that material you have per unit volume. And here's an example. A piece of metal has a volume of 50 cubic centimeters and a mass of 80 grams. So the density would be mass divided by volume, right? 80 divided by 50, and that's 1.6 gram per cubic centimeter. So that means per cubic centimeter, you're going to have 1.6 grams of that particular metal. Second example is about mercury. One mil mercury weighs 13.6 grams. Um, so the density is going to be the mass divided by volume, right? And in this case, it's a not solid, right? It's uh, almost like a liquid. So that's why it's um, in milliliter, which is mil. Okay, so the density is 13.6 grams per mil. Now, different substances have unique densities. So density can be used to identify a particular substance, right? Because different materials uh, are supposed to have different densities. Um, so once you have the density information, you can use that to figure out what material, what substances it is. Okay, now let's look at some practice questions. Question one. What is the density of this substance, which has a mass of 24 grams and a volume of 48 centimeters? So density is going to be the mass 24 divided by 48 cubic centimeter. So the correct answer is 0 0.5 gram per cubic centimeter. All right, next question. So this time, instead of asking you to calculate density, it asks you to calculate the mass of this much water. So that's also not bad. Um, with this formula, density equals mass divided by volume. You know that mass equals density multiplied by volume, right? So the mass of 40 ml of water is going to be one gram per ml multiplied by 40 mils, right? And then the answer is 40 grams. 
And the similar, you can calculate volume as well, right? Volume is going to be mass divided by density. So if the question asks you to calculate a volume, then uh, you can use this equation to calculate that. So the correct answer is C. All right, next question. So this is a more or less of a, 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 like applied question, right? So you have this information and you have a table of elements that you can choose from. So remember I said previously that density is a unique property for different substances. So as long as you can calculate that density, right? You can really narrow down what material this is. All right, guys, this is a relatively short lesson, but I think there's a chance that you might see some questions on mass, volume, and density. Um, it is a pretty important concept in the science field. Um, again, I hope the video is helpful, and I will see you next time.